G'day, Greg again. Just wanted to show you some other stuff in um, the Blue Letter Bible Index. Sorry, Blue Letter Bible. Um, I saw a question the other day about um, are the fallen angels um, bound, like as in tightly bound, can't hurt anyone. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how you can use the Blue Letter Bible to look that sort of thing up without having to um, think of a word and search for the word. Um, Anyway, if we um, have a look at um, the study portion here, just to hold your mouse over it, you don't need to click it. Um, have a look at the topical indexes here under Bible reference. Click on that. Um, go to Hitchcock's topical analysis of the Bible. Um, and what we're looking for is the answer to the question, are the angels bound? So we go down to section uh, book nine, um, angels, good and evil. Um, we're talking about evil angels and chapter, sorry, section 44, are they closely confined? So your answer here is um, Ephesians 2.2 2, um, tells us that, uh, and you only get scripture reference here, in which you once walked according to the course of uh, this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, um, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Ephesians 6.12, we should all know that. Uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this age and the spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. There's a note there on um, Ephesians 2.2. 2. Um, this means that they, they being the angels, fallen angels, may be either uh, that they are aerial in their constitution or that their abode is in the air. At any rate, there is, they're not so imprisoned as to not be able to tempt men. Um, if you think about that in terms of uh, how the angels um, actually consist, as far as my understanding of it goes, um, they may inhabit extra dimensions to what we do, that's why we can't see them doing what they're doing, but they're there nonetheless. Um, now, the, um, the other thing I wanted to show you while I was in here, we'll go back up to study, and we want to go to Thompson's chain reference. So this is again in the topical indexes. Um, Thompson's chain reference. And we want to have a look at 11, Christ's attitude towards children. I'm just showing you how this works. Um, Christ's attitude towards children. And basically what you do is you, um, you hover over this and it will uh, give you the Bible reference for, like the Bible reading for whatever it is you're, you're looking for. So... Um, and the last thing I wanted to do was show you another resource that I thought was, well, I've been using it for probably years now. Um, it's, again, it's in the study section. Um, it's now in the articles and books. And I was going to show you Clarence Larkin's um, uh, Eschatology, which is uh, his book, Dispensational Truth. So if we have a look at that, uh, we can have a look at, well, you can read the whole thing. You can, I don't know if you can download it, but you can read it online. Uh, you can go to chapters or charts. Let's have a look at charts, and I'll just have a look at um, section 44, which is uh, Daniel's 70 weeks. This is the, the chart for Daniel's 70 weeks. Um, you click on that, and it opens up the chart, or it's actually embedded in, I think, it's, it's actually embedded in the paragraph, so um, this is some interesting stuff. Clarence Larkin um, was a prolific chart maker. Um, I think he died in the, the um, uh, early last century. Um, all his stuff's available online and there's some really excellent charts. Anyway, uh, that's enough for you to, to try and remember today. Don't forget, um, I'll just go back. These resources are all in this study section. You click. You don't have to click on study. You just hover over it um, and have a dig around in here. There's um, other things you can have a look at, maps, timelines, etc. But those uh, Larkin charts are actually in articles and books. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, God bless.